Kavi, good to see you. Just explain where are we at this lunchtime? Well, Chelsea looking for a new manager. The search uh, started uh, yesterday. Uh, the process is going to be led by the two co-sporting directors, uh, Paul Wynn Stanley and Lawrence Stewart. And what they're looking for is, I'm sure you'll know because it's what every club is looking for at the moment. They want a progressive coach who plays possession-based football and also somebody who is happy being a head coach rather than a manager. So somebody who fits into the structure that Chelsea have built. So they don't want somebody who's going to want too much control, who wants to uh, have the final say on transfers, who is somebody who is a sort of larger than life character. It's got to be somebody who is a head coach and is collegiate and is happy to work with everybody and fits into the structure that they have. Now, are they in a desperate hurry? I don't think they are because of the timing of uh, the announcement that Maurizio Pochettino was leaving. It was the day after the end of the season. I think the players are not due back uh, for pre-season training on July the 4th. So I think Chelsea will take their time. I know there have been suggestions that somebody could be appointed in a matter of days. Uh, my sense is that they just want to make sure they get the right person. They've been through quite a few head coaches, managers since the new owners have come in. And now they have got the structure in place that they want. They just want to make sure that the new man is the right man to take Chelsea forward and somebody who signs up to their vision for the future of the club. So who is the right man then? Because you reported yesterday that they're looking at, what, eight or more candidates. Just talk us through who is on that list. I think the first names, um, the candidates, you know, the leading candidates, I would say Thomas Frank is one of the leading candidates. He is somebody who... Uh, has been mentioned to me a lot. The Chelsea owners obviously know the great job he's done at Brentford. There's also uh, Kieran McKenna as well uh, at Ipswich, uh, Roberto De Zerbi as well. I think going through those names, do they fit the criteria that Chelsea are looking for? What are the positives and negatives about them? I think somebody like Thomas Frank, he fits the criteria. He's got Premier League experience as well. I think he would be happy working in the structure Chelsea have uh, as a head coach. Uh, so I think he is a leading candidate. Somebody like Kieran McKenna at Ipswich Town. OK, he's done an incredible job uh, in two seasons at Ipswich Town. Back-to-back -back promotions, got Ipswich Town in the Premier League. I think the only thing that may count against him is... Does he have Premier League experience? Not as a head coach. Yes, he's worked at Spurs, he's worked at Manchester United, but he hasn't actually uh, managed a club in the Premier League and he's got no European experience either. Uh, Roberto Di Zerbi, obviously he's available at the moment. Uh, I think the sense I'm getting is maybe he's a bit too much of a character. Sometimes he can be a bit difficult to handle for owners. Uh, also, another name that's been mentioned to me is uh, Hernes, the coach at Stuttgart, who's done such a fantastic job, finished second in the Bundesliga, uh, one place above Bayern Munich. He is somebody who will be looked at as well. Uh, then there's Hansi Flick. I think he's more likely to go to Barcelona at the moment. I'm not sure if he wants to come uh, to the Premier League, but I'm sure he's got some very good agents who work on his behalf. I'm sure his name will be being put forward as well. There's Ruben Amarim at Sporting. Everybody knows what's been happening with him and the Liverpool job and the West Ham job. Uh, and also Enzo Maresca uh, at Leicester, who has got Leicester promoted. Style of football he plays, exactly what Chelsea want, possession-based. But again, he doesn't have Premier League experience as a head coach. Michel at Girona is also another name that's been mentioned to me. Fantastic job he's done there plays football the right way. Girona are part of the City Football Group. Uh, they've got into Europe. The no's, I'm being told, uh, I'm being told, forget about Thomas Tuchel, forget about Jose Mourinho, forget about Antonio Conti. And also, surprisingly perhaps, I'm being told Vincent Company is a no at the moment. He was a yes last summer because I think he got in onto the shortlist, final three, uh, to get the job last summer. But they gave the job to Maurizio Pochettino. But obviously, since then, he's been at Burnley, plays football the right way as far as Chelsea owners are concerned, but Burnley got relegated. So I'm not sure he'll be a contender this time round.
Yeah, so you've given us a kind of list of potential managers that Chelsea might want. What about managers wanting Chelsea? Because when you look at the club, there is perhaps a few red flags, it's maybe fair to say, for a successor. It doesn't look like they might be a team that is particularly easy to manage or a job that's particularly easy to manage given the ownership situation as well. I think there'd be some suggestions today that Chelsea are almost becoming unmanageable and who would want to go uh, and work at Chelsea uh, with all the sort of politics behind the scene. But it's still one of the biggest jobs in world football. Uh, I'm sure most head coaches would want to manage Chelsea and would think that they would be able to manage the situation there. Obviously, I think it's a very difficult club to manage. There is also the issue of having different owners in charge because it's not just owned by one person anymore like it was when it was under the ownership of Roman Abramovich. They're different owners, different ownership groups. There's Todd Burley, who uh, to begin with, he seemed to have the biggest say in the running of the club, but it appears at the moment uh, uh, Behdad Iqbali is the one who's really uh, wielding most of the power and making most of the big decisions. And I think he was instrumental in the decision uh, to part ways with uh, Maurizio Pochettino. But yes, it's a difficult club to manage. It's been a difficult club to manage for a long time. It was difficult to manage Chelsea under Roman Abramovich uh, because they demand success. And the next head coach... He will know what is expected. And Mauricio Pochettino knew what, is, what was expected as well. Chelsea have to get back into the Champions League. Chelsea have to be challenging for the Premier League title. Finishing sixth is not good enough. OK, what about Pochettino then? A quick word on him. What is next for him, do you think? Well, I think uh, Mauricio Pochettino can leave Chelsea with his head held up high. Uh, he did a good job overall. The owners thought not good enough. He won the fans over. The fans ended up really liking him. Everybody in football likes him. There are some big jobs available this summer. Potentially the Manchester United job uh, could become available soon. Uh, the Bayern Munich job is available at the moment. I thought initially maybe he would want to take a little break, have a little bit of a holiday, recharge his batteries. Uh, but I've been told that no, that's not the case. If the right job becomes available, then he's raring to go. He wants to jump straight back in. So I think if a big job becomes available and is offered to him and the terms are right and contractually it's fine with Chelsea as well, then I would not be at all surprised uh, if he wasn't back in the dugout for the start of the season. Okay.